Hey, Zombarinos, Trombonaut here, and I've got to share with you something that one of our regular viewers shared with me. This little hack is gonna show you how to use beer, bourbon, or any alcohol as an infinite painkiller and infinite sleeping aid. And at the end, I've got a bonus tip to help you walk around on a fracture in case you have a little accident while you're playing with your alcohol, like I may or may not have done. So check out the description to see the original Reddit post about this by Mod Installer. Mod Installer has got a series of alcohol posts going now, and we're gonna start by talking talking about the advanced mod installer technique known as the micro sip. This is how the magic happens. So take a bottle of alcohol, a can of beer, bottle of wine, it's totally up to you. I tested all of the vanilla alcohol. Now, go to drink one of these things, about one quarter of it, and as soon as you click to drink, press escape. This will cancel the drinking action and stop you from drinking more than a drop of beer or whatever you have. But that one magic drop is going to let you do two magical things. Number one, when you drink a drop of beer or the whole bottle, you will get a pain reduction that remains active for the same amount of time no matter how much you drink. On my settings, I was seeing 20 minutes of in-game uh, pain reduction time no matter which alcohol I drank or how much I drank. So using micro sips, you can keep a little bottle of beer going for ages. So this is a huge amount of painkiller in a single item. Number two, if you ever had trouble falling asleep after some pain or panic, or maybe you woke up too early and now you can't go back to sleep, have no fear, beer is here to the rescue. Actually, again, any alcohol should work, and even with just a micro sip, you can now go back to sleep even when you normally could not. So that's Mod Installer's micro sips, and before we move on to my bonus tip for walking around on a broken leg, I encourage you again to check out Mod Installer's posts because there were some additional alcohol effects that they found, but I could not replicate them on build 41.78.9, so I'm wondering if they got that patched out. So if you get a moment, try it out, let me know how it went, and let me know which build you're playing on. Okay, so drop a like if you're going to try out the micro sips, and here is my bonus tip. If you happen to drunkenly stumble off of a third story balcony, you know, it can happen to any of us, just remember this. You can walk on a fracture at a pretty good speed, whether it's a fresh fracture or even if you already put uh, a splint on the thing. So hold down shift or whatever you do for running, and instead of pressing the direction that you want to go, press two directions at once or in very short succession. This will trigger a bit of a lurch animation that covers a lot of distance, and you can move at least three or four times your normal walking speed with a fracture. This even works uh, when your injury is so severe that normal running and sprinting are no longer helping your speed. All right, headshot that subscribe button if you want more Zomboid, like if you liked it today, and check out these next videos for more tips. Stay safe out there, survivors.